Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review a new frame from Real CC, the Real CX frame. This is a 5 inch frame even though the packaging is extremely small and as far as I know this is also an original frame by Real CC unlike the Real 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which were clones and if I'm wrong please correct me because I tried to look it up and I didn't find any similar frame. This frame costs less than $30, so just like other real CC products, it's a budget-friendly product and it has a very interesting feature. The arms are made of titanium. I've seen in other quadcopter frames, other parts like the side piece, for example, that are made of titanium, but this is the first frame that I see that feature titanium arms. Titanium is a very lightweight and strong material, so I'm really looking forward to see how this frame looks and how it will perform. So now, after this introduction, let's see the parts we're getting inside. So this is everything we're getting inside. Let's start by examining the arms. You can see that the texture on the sides is uneven and I can't really tell you if this is 100% made of titanium or it's mixed with other alloy. I can show you that it's not magnetic like titanium should it be and it's also very lightweight and it doesn't bend easily. I try to bend it and it just won't bend. It seems like these arms might be almost unbreakable and this is one of the good properties of titanium that it's very light and very durable. Coming next is the velcro strap. This is a very simple velcro strap. I'm not really sure why they chose to include it. I would never use it with a big battery so I'm just gonna put it on the side. We're also getting these side plates for the camera. These parts are made of aluminum. This is going to be placed on the back of the quadcopter and this is going to be placed on the front of the frame and it's going to hold the FPV camera. We get in this anti-skid battery plate that is going to be located on the bottom of the quadcopter. All the necessary screws, the instructions manual, and finally we get in the top plate and two bottom plates that are going to hold the arms in place. The weight of each arm is 12.9 grams. So if I compare it to this arm from the DC, this is a frame that I'm going to review in the next few days, which is also a 5 inch frame. The weight is 8.2 grams, so the titanium arm is noticeably heavier than a standard carbon fiber arm. The thickness of the arm is 3 millimeters. The thickness of the bottom plate is 2.5 millimeters. And the thickness of the second bottom plate is 2 millimeters. And finally, the thickness of the top plate is 1.5 millimeters. Now I'm going to quickly assemble this frame and show you the outcome. So this is how the frame looks like when it's assembled. If you decide to buy this frame and use it, you will need to pay attention to one thing when building it, which is to assemble this part before assembling the bottom plate. You can see the two screws that are holding this part are not accessible. So in order to save you some frustrations, make sure to assemble it before assembling the bottom plate. In addition, the screws that are holding the stack are accessible from the bottom, but I still think that it's recommended to attach the stack to this middle plate before assembling the bottom plate. By the way, you can see that you have a couple of mounting options, so you can also use a 20 by 20 stack with this build. And one more thing, a standard FPV camera is not going to be compatible with this frame, so you can either use a mini or micro cameras. You can see, for example, that the Predator Mini camera fits without any problems, so we need to get either a mini or micro camera in order to use this frame. Now let's wait up. So the weight of the frame, is 98.1 grams so it's a pretty lightweight frame and if the arms are really made out of 100% titanium it should be also a very durable one. The distance between motor to motor is 210 millimeters. The distance between the motors on the sides is 15 centimeters and on the back it's also 15 centimeters so this frame has a true X pattern. Now let's measure the distance between the mounting holes of the motors and you can see it's about 2 centimeters by about 1.6 centimeters. So you can use 2205 motors without any problems. And if you want to use 2307 motors, for example, you will be able to mount it only using two screws. Now, by the way, on the sides, we have these holes to place the antennas and also this cutout for the VTX. So overall, I think that this frame is really well designed and it's supposed to be very durable and for less than 30 bucks. It looks like a really good frame and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I really hope it's not a clone. So what do you think? Should I build this frame on one of my next build videos? Please leave a comment down below and if I'll have enough build it comments, I'm going to feature it on one of my next build videos. 
So I thank you for watching my video. As always, if you have any questions about this frame, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.